Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors sure was a treat. Now, we've been trying to plan this for over five years now, but every time we try to go to Ark Rock, the conditions are not good. You know, we miss it by a day, we miss it by a week. You know, it's just Mother Nature has not been our side. You know, the, the ocean was too rough for us to get there. However, this time, we almost had a flat ocean. You know, we had some four foot swells uh, every, I think it was eight to nine seconds, but nothing that was, you know, a deterrent. Keep reeling. Get him up there. Let's see what we got. Stop, stop. Come. Come towards me. That's a big green right there, baby. I told you. Look at that green <laughs> leg. Woo! All right, folks, here we go. We got our first green ling of the day. Really nice specimen. Yes, sir. We got it on a chase bait that was coated with the fire gel, the herring fire gel. I coat the heads of my lead jigs and I keep them coated up because that extra scent really attracts these boogers. Just keep coming, girl. You got him. Nice. Keep coming. Don't see no color yet. Slow down. Oh yeah, Stop. nicely. Yeah! On a herring? God. Woo! Way to go, Val. Organ link cod. Is that a beautiful fish? Look at the teeth on these guys. There it is, Mick. Woo! He doesn't like it when you bring the head out. You never. Never, ever, ever! Woo! There's Chris Schaefer with a link eye. This happens every now and then. Huh? Yeah, Put him in he the box. touched my rod and he put one down. <laughs> okay, so here I'm gonna show you folks what we've been using. I've got a chase bait here, a squid chase bait. Works really good with an actual piece of squid bait on there with it. And this thing is so chewed up as you can see, guys. So I'm using normally, typically with a good drift like this, a four ounce lead head, okay? And what I do with these lead heads is I use my Plotsky's fire gel, and this is herring, and I dip it in the jar. I use quite a bit of this. And as you can see, it's completely worn off. And we've already caught three lingcod on this little setup right here. So. Folks, that's all you got to do. Just add a little scent, a little real bait, and we got a nice squid chase bait, and you're ready to go catch lingcod and trophy rockfish. Yeah, baby. I think I got my first lingcod finally. Ah, yeah. Hey, uh, Brandon, can you grab that gaff yeah. over there hanging up? Oh. Here it is. Link. Biggest sling of the day so yeah, far. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Boy. Woo. Yay. All right. Oregon Coast Link Cod. I finally caught one today. Everybody else has been catching them. I had a scampy uh, root beer jig coated with fire gel, herring fire gel. Probably a big black the way it's shaken. Shake, shake, shake. Or a colored fish. Is that a wing cod? That's a wing cod, dude. Yep, greenling. Yep, a wing cod. Yeah. Yep, look at this. Another fine wing cod here on the Oregon coast. Good eats, lots of fish tacos. Okay, folks, so now we moved into some shallower water, and we're gonna show you why we enjoy doing our shallow water, light tackle rock fishing. So I'm using shrimp flies here with a small lead jig. We're only fishing 30, 40 feet of water. So on my shrimp flies, I like to use the fire gel. Today, I'm using shrimp on my, uh, on my shrimp flies and on my lead jig on the bottom. 
Guys, this is really easy. You don't even have to get your hands dirty if you don't want. You can just put a little dab on there, move right on down the line. Next, you can just put a little dab on there, smear it around, and then you get to your lead jig. Now, with the lead jig, I like to coat it pretty good. Got some stuff on the bottom of the hook there, a little color. You can put a little grub on there, a little swim tail, and just smear that jig. And all you got to do is just add the extra scent and it just gives you a lot better bite. Ooh, leg. Big, no, Ooh, big God. black. Big black. Yeah, baby. Nice black rock fish. But it's coming. Big rock. Big rock fish. Oh yeah. Look at this rock fish. Tacos tonight, baby. Tacos tonight. Sorry. Man, that thing fought like crazy. Is it a blue? It's nope. probably no, it's black, huh? Nice. Noise. Take it out of the holder. Okay guys, so on this equipment we use just light tackle, light reels. We're using 30 pound Power Pro braided. And we have about a four foot monofilament that we tie on uh, our leader with our jigs and our flies. These rods are very inexpensive. Light tackle, pin rod, uh, little pin reel, Fluger, Okuma. Uh, we use them all. They're just inexpensive. They take a lot of abuse, so we go through them quite quickly. But we try to keep good tackle going for you guys. And uh, the salt water, as you know, is really hard on the equipment. So we rinse them off with fresh water. And we try to give you guys the best tackle available. And this light gear is unbelievable to fish with. Yes, yeah, sir. Rock fishing is the finest. Woo! Double that, double that. He's pulling like he's going south. Double, no, we got That's a triple. Oh, we got it, he gone. He be gone, we got one small one and one medium one. And we lost the great big one on the bottom. That always happens though, the big ones get away. And then this is what you get. Oh, that's a blue, that one. It went hard. A blue and a black. Yeah, that one's got some cool colors. Yeah, that's a blue. I two of mine. So did I. Oh, cheater. <laughs> yep, that's a blue. Oh, yeah. Nice little blue. So we are finally able to go with Brookings Fishing Charters and Fishing Guide Mick Thomas out to Ark Rock. And sure enough, it was exactly what Mick told us it was going to be. It was Ling Cod Heaven. I almost felt like it was in Alaska. Maybe they weren't as big as some of the monsters we've caught in Alaska, but the action was just as good. Now, all of them today were caught on jigs or shrimp flies, and we coated those in either herring or shrimp fire gel. Scent's a big deal out here. You know what, guys? You don't think we're telling the truth? Come on out here yourself. Try unscented jig versus a scented jig and see what happens. There is a big difference. Now, we also caught several other species of rockfish, and that would have been, you know, whether they were blacks or whether they were, you know, various different smaller species that we had to release. We had a heck of a time out here today. If you ever get a chance, call up our friends at Brookings Fishing Charters, book a trip with them for the day, and you too could experience epic link cod fishing on the southern Oregon coast. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, Make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order. Nice little kelp wing. 
they're really pretty. Sea trout, known as tree trout, sea trout, different colors, really blue. <laughs> and they just don't like to be held. They don't like the camera. We're sorry, folks, but he's in the water swimming.